let's open the box. I am greeted by a letter addressed to someone called Dear Buyer, but I'm not really a buyer. Even though my last video about cheap Raspberry Pi clone didn't give a device a positive review, the company that makes them started farming social credits in my comment section. I didn't miss this opportunity and, in order not to buy this board myself, begged them for another interesting thing they have. At the moment it only has 22 orders on AliExpress and very questionable rating. They agreed, but the review will be completely unbiased, just like the previous one. When I call this SBC a clone, I mean the board has the same form factor with Raspberry Pi 5 and aims to be compatible with all the accessories made for it, including PC Express ones. But it also has its own unique features, which at some points make it even better than Raspberry Pi 5 despite being cheaper. It has all winner T527. Octa-core CPU that is slower than Broadcom BCM2712 found in Raspberry Pi 5, but tests will be a bit later. However, T527 also integrates two TOPS Int 8 NPU. Yes, it is weak, but if NPU of such power is enough for your small project, it might replace a whole Google Coral module which you would buy separately for the original Pi and occupy a PCI Express slot. Here it's just integrated. Walnut Pi 2B in max configuration has 4GB of LPDDR4, while Pi 5 offers up to 16GB, of course, for a much higher price. This board also has optional 32GB of EMMC 5.1, the speed of which we will test today. It's optional, but I recommend paying an additional $10 for it because a good SD card is slower and wouldn't cost much cheaper. And another solution is external SSD that will take either your USB port or PCI Express slot. The ports are almost the same as on Raspberry Pi 5. Differences, one less micro HDMI, there is IR receiver on its place, one less USB Gen 3, it's Gen 2 here, everything else seems to be the same. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.4 module from Quactel. Same form factor allows me to install generic, very efficient and cheap Raspberry Pi 5 cooling system. What about operating systems? Walnut Pi 2B uses their own fork of Debian. There are server and XFCE versions. Home Assistant build is also present. A lot of people wrote their concerns about Chinese backdoors there. I addressed these concerns to the manufacturer and they answered that their code is open source on GitHub, feel free to check. I have no expertise to do so, and I leave this to your consideration. Personally, I will use official XFCE Debian build. And for now, the image is regularly updated. If you haven't watched the previous video, the official image contains a service called Device Map. It's turned on by default and uses your IP to display your location accurately to a city on a map available for everyone to see. You can turn this off by disabling this service, as mentioned in official documentation, but in my opinion it should be off by default. We booted and I immediately decided to run a Geekbench 6 test. Here are the numbers I got compared to Orange Pi 4a with the same T527 CPU and to Raspberry Pi 5. As you can see Orange Pi 4a and Walnut Pi 2b have the same numbers. I put an accent on this because there are other SBC called Walnut Pi 1B from my previous review somehow had much lower numbers than the competitor with the same CPU, here no anomalies with performance, yet it loses to Raspberry Pi 5 quite significantly, especially in single core performance. The positive thing here is the power consumption. The Raspberry Pi consumes much more power and wants you to buy additional 27 watt power supply, while this board consumes very little and can be powered even with your old phone's 5V to amps charger. The GPU here is no match to Raspberry Pi 5, Walnut Pi 2B gets only 116 points in GL Mark ES2 in Full HD full screen. EMMC test results are on your screens. They were made in KDiskMark, a crystal disk mark alternative for Linux. The speed is okay, obviously much faster than SD card. This board isn't bad for specific tasks. It's cheaper, has lower power consumption and EMMC along with NPU make this board even more convenient than Raspberry Pi 5, again, 
not for general use, but for some specific use cases. It's certainly better in terms of quality than Walnut by 1B, which had anomalies with performance, which had anomalies with not allowing me to record it with a capture card, none of those issues are here. However, raw power is not that impressive, some application support might be worse, but it's true for all SBCs not from Raspberry and usually it isn't a thing at all. Most applications can be run even on non-supported TV box. But it's good to make sure that the project you want to make doesn't have some special requirements. I will leave a link to the official AliExpress listing in the pinned comment so you can check its price in your region. For me, 1GB version of Raspberry Pi 5 costs a couple dollars more than 4GB version of Walnut Pi 2B. I would usually end this video here, but there is one more SBC on AliExpress that caught my attention which seems to offer more for a lower price. I haven't tested it yet, but if I were you, I would wait for its review, which will be out soon.